Hello and welcome to the session. As it's very clear from the backdrop that this particular session is dedicated for discussion for the question of JEE mains 2016 that had been conducted today on 3rd April 2016. So altogether we are discussing with physics and the code that I have today for discussion is code F. Now let's start with the discussion. We have 30 questions starting from question number 61 in this particular code and the first question that I have is you can see it's from the topic of wave. There is a uniform string. The string's length is 20 meter and it says the time taken by a short wave pulse to travel from bottom to top. That means a small wave is created here and we are supposed to calculate what is the time taken by this particular pulse to travel from bottom to top. Now the first thing is say we have to calculate the wave velocity although the question is not so difficult a uh, routine question. So if I start solving it the rope is massive and uniform of course for our simplicity. Let us go at a distance y. So let me try to find the velocity which of course would be a function of y. We know by formula is root t by mu where mu is the mass per unit length and t is the tension at this particular point. So that comes out to be mgy by l. The tension at this particular point is due to the weight of this portion of the string. And since being uniform, you can easily find and mu is mass per unit length that comes here. So here you see on all those cancellation, we get velocity at any distance y is root of gy. It's clearly indicating that the velocity is variable. Higher the wave goes, higher would be the velocity. Now, one way is that it's very evident that it's a uniformly accelerated motion because see at this level you can easily see you can compare with root of 2ay or if I go with the generalized technique dy by dt will be equals to root of gy and dy by root gy comes out to be equals to dt. Now let's put the limit at t equals to 0 y is 0 and at t equals to t or let me write t naught. t naught is the time that the wave pulse takes to reach the top. The value of y of course would be equals to 20. Now it's a very simple integration you can easily solve and that will give you option number 2 which is 2 root 2 second. So that was about question number 61. Let's proceed to question number 62. Okay, now let's go to question number 62 and this question number 62 is quite a practical question. It's something related to energy conversion and calculation henceforth. It's something like this say, a person trying to lose weight by burning fat lifts a mass of 10 kg up to a height of 1 meter 1000 times. So a 10 kg block is being raised to a height 1 meter and the process is repeated for 1000 times. Assume potential energy loss each time he lowers the mass is dissipated. How much fat is used? And the conversion part had been given here. Fat supplies this much joule of energy per kg, which is converted to mechanical energy with 20% of efficiency. Let's try to see. The question is something like this. Say. Let's try to say when the 10 kg block is being raised up to a height 1 meter, the potential energy that's m g h is 1 but this process has been repeated 1000 times so this much is the total potential energy that has been raised and now this potential energy has to be supplied from the internal mechanism of the man in other words the fat has to burn so let's try to say that m kg of fat burns but you know m kg of fat would be providing this much amount of energy. However, at this particular process, the efficiency is 20%, so 0 
So this much is the energy produced when mKc of fat is being burned and this much is the energy required. So all we require is to equate it and on calculation which is not so difficult, some decimals are involved, you would get option number 3 as the correct answer. So that was with question number 62. Now let's proceed to question number 63.